folks, we're here with John Hathorne, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the marketing conditions today. I know that uh, it's uh, on a lot of people's minds, and John will helpfully reassure some of us. John. Hi. Hi. Uh, market's great, and um, it's in spite of what everybody's been reading in the uh, LA Times and other media outlets, we're really um, fortunate in the higher end that the subprime meltdown. The reason for that is somehow in the upper end, people have the resources. They can document their income. They can come up with a down payment. They don't have to a really get interesting market. I was born and raised here. Um, I've watched Venice change so much over the years. Um, the canals. Uh, less than a mile from here was a place where nobody ever wanted to live. Uh, it was hard to get in, hard to get out, tough to park. Um, in the summertime, if you left your house, you couldn't get near it again until long after sundown. And uh, what's happened over the years, this bohemian image has really sort of called out to successful artists, actors, writers, directors, and uh, you, you know, you've got beatniks, multi-million dollar homes that are situated next to teardowns. Granted, teardowns in this neighborhood are anywhere from eight to a million two, because we're a half a block from the beach, but uh, that makes for an interesting dynamic. There are people that have owned these homes for 30, 40 years and are never going to sell, and then you put a $3 million house next to it, you're going to hear about it from a potential buyer who says, I like it. I like the house. Really like the um, tracks homes. So you got something really custom, and it's going to sing and resonate with somebody to somebody. So I can't. We we never analyze property and time on the market based on absorption rate for the West Side because the homes are too custom. So much somebody to could the pop time up to talk to us. I'm sure you probably reassured some people, and uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you.